When you think of plants, you probably picture something harmless, maybe a tree in a park or some flowers in the garden. But there is a darker side to the plant kingdom. Some plants don't just rely on the sun and soil, they rely on trapping and devouring their prey. We're talking about creepy plants that can snare animals, slowly digest them, and leave behind nothing but horror. In this video, we'll explore some of the most bizarre and creepy plants that trap animals, breaking down how they do it, and the chilling stories behind them. Get ready to see plants in a whole new light, one where their appetite for life may be more terrifying than you ever imagined. If you were an insect, you'd want to avoid falling into a giant pitcher, but that's exactly what happens with pitcher plants, and it is a one-way trip. These plants have large tubular leaves that form a deep, slippery pool filled with digestive enzymes. Their rim is laced with nectar, luring insects to their doom. Once they slip in, there is no escape. The steep walls make it impossible to climb out, and soon the insect meets its end in the liquid below. This plant's trap is so effective that it's been keeping insects captive for millions of years. Imagine Imagine falling into something that's both a prison and also your tomb. Scary. Sundews are among the creepiest of the carnivorous plants, and they do things a bit differently. Instead of snapping or trapping, they use sticky, glandular hairs to catch their prey. These hairs secrete a glue-like substance that is irresistible to insects. As the insect struggles, it only becomes more entangled in the web of goo. Once immobilized, the sundew slowly folds in on its prey, digesting it alive. It is a slow, torturous process, and in the end, the insect is reduced to little more than nutrients for the plant. If you've ever gotten stuck in a spider web, you'll understand how horrifying it must be to fall victim to one of these plants. Who's gotten stuck in a spider web? That's a fucking terrifying- is it the spider from Harry Potter? Giant spider. Anyways, I said it. It is what it is. Most plants are slow, but the bladderwort is lightning fast. Found in aquatic environments, this plant uses a tiny bladder-like structure to trap its prey. The bladder has a one-way valve that can suck in small aquatic creatures like insects, crustaceans, and even tiny fish when they trigger the plant's trap. The bladderwort's snap is one of the fastest movements in the plant kingdom, happening in in just one tenth of a second. It's like a plant with the reflexes of a predator. When an unsuspecting critter triggers the trap, the bladder sucks it in, trapping it inside where it is then slowly digested. The plant is like nature's Venus flytrap, only faster and more aggressive. In the waters of North America, there's a plant so bizarre that it looks like something out of a movie. Meet the water wheel plant, a carnivorous plant that uses tiny, wheel-like traps to catch its prey. These traps are armed with tiny, fast-moving hairs that trigger the plant to snap shut when an unsuspecting insect swims or crawls across them. The trap is shaped like a wheel, and when it closes, it doesn't just trap the prey, it also rotates to ensure a tighter grip. The movement of the water wheel is so precise and fast that it can capture prey in just milliseconds. Once the insect is trapped, the plant begins secreting digestive enzymes, slowly breaking it down and absorbing the nutrients. The plant is nature's perfect blend of speed, precision, and deadly design, and it's not something you'd ever want to encounter in the wild. Thinking of plants moving quickly is like… I don't know man. I don't like it. I don't understand it and I don't want to be a part of it. The cobra lily is as beautiful as it is deadly. Found in California and Oregon, this plant lures insects into a deceptive trap that's shaped like the hood of a cobra. The plant's unique structure makes it appear like it's a safe place to land, but once an insect ventures inside, it finds itself stuck. The walls are slippery, and the plant's deceptive hood hides the real danger. Digestive enzymes waiting to break down the prey. The cobra lily is a perfect example of nature's ability to blend beauty with deadly cunning, creating a trap that even the most cautious creatures can't avoid. In the rainforests of Australia, there's a pitcher plant that hides in plain sight. 
unlike some of its more colourful relatives, this one blends in perfectly with its surroundings. The Australian pitcher plant has a shallow pool of liquid in its cavity, which might seem harmless, but it is of course filled with those digestive enzymes. The plant uses its sleek design to lure unsuspecting animals, mostly small mammals and insects, and once the animals venture too close, they're suddenly engulfed in a downfall into the pool where they're then slowly digested. This plant is an expert at deception, making it one of nature's silent hunters. The lobster pot trap is exactly what it sounds like, a plant that traps its prey in a maze-like structure. Found in boggy wetlands, which sounds like a horrible environment to be in, this plant is shaped like a maze that entices small insects or animals to enter. Once inside, the prey becomes confused and disoriented by the slippery, narrow pathways. It's unable to find its way out, and eventually the plant's digestive enzymes begin breaking it down. This clever design makes it one of the most baffling plants in the world, using both the architecture of the trap and the prey's instincts against it. Crazy. Crazy plants. Smart plants. Do plants think? seems like they might. In Southeast Asia, there is a plant known as the monkey cup, and it doesn't just attract insects, it targets larger prey. This plant, a type of pitcher plant, has a deep, slippery cup filled with a sweet, nectar-like liquid. Animals, particularly monkeys, are drawn to the liquid. However, once they reach the edge of the cup, they slip and fall into the depths below. This liquid inside contains enzymes that slowly digest the trapped. This slow-acting process process takes days, and while it might sound like something from a nightmare, it's a real survival mechanism for the monkey cup. Imagine walking through a field of grass when, out of nowhere, a plant snaps shut, trapping your finger. That's exactly what the Venus flytrap does to unsuspecting prey. These iconic plants found in boggy areas of the US have hinged leaves that resemble jaws. Once an insect brushes the tiny hairs inside, the trap closes and the plant begins secreting digestive enzymes. Over the course of a few days, the insect is liquefied, providing the fly trap with the nutrients it can't get from the soil. It's like nature's own version of a horror movie, where the villain is a small, unassuming plant. Crazy movie. The Nepenthes raffleciana is one of the most deadly plants in the world, and it has the appearance to match its reputation. This tropical plant grows massive funnel-shaped leaves that act like natural traps. The plant's inner walls are coated with a waxy substance that causes insects to slip and fall into the liquid below. Unlike other carnivorous plants, this one is particularly brutal. It can trap and digest creatures as large as small frogs and lizards. Once inside, the prey becomes trapped for days, slowly being digested by the plant's enzymes. It is a chilling reminder that even the most beautiful plants can just be deadly. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Do you have any of these plants in your yard? Let us know down below and maybe send us a video of them getting a meal. I don't know, I'm just saying random stuff now. Okay, bye!